What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video. And one thing I did want to say, guys, check out the... Our warlog really has cleaned up. We have been known for having one of the worst public warlogs in the game. That is not so much the case, at least in the last six or seven wars. Now, granted, a couple of these were farm wars, but we wrapped up what was not a farm war. Uh, we had a very tough matchup against One Hive and Victa. Uh, grabbing the victory 111 to 107. More importantly is OHI, yeah, OHI, right? OHI had a two Town Hall 11 advantage, so we knew it was going to be tough, but where we outshined uh, One Hive and Victa was in the 10v10 department, so I will be showing you guys a few insane 10v10s, and we will start off, like I said, I do not start off at the top, we always start off at the bottom, uh, and that is going to be number 31. It was a really, really unique base that required a very, very unique hit. This also being a, a fresh hit as well. Uh, we have Masam going to be doing it with a Queen Walk Drag Lalo. Uh, something you do you do not see every day. We are seeing a little bit more uh, with dragons. But as far as the met, it's, I don't know, at Town Hall 9, I, people are still sticking with the hogs, still sticking with the Lalo. But right here, we have Masam going to be using dragons on this base. Uh, like I said, it's a really, really funky base layout. Uh, and just starting over here at about 3 o'clock, and do not worry, I know we had a lot of support and enthusiasm behind the Town Hall 9 attack guide series that just started up about a week ago but uh do not worry those videos will be coming out i am gathering content so that will be continuing for those of you wondering uh what's going on with that brand new series uh but definitely check that out it, 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 it's going to be a lot of fun have a lot of things in the works uh but did want to show this town hall nine attack like i said very very unique doing a super mini uh kiwi walk this little wizard right up here right after this expo goes down ends up taking it right in range uh grabbing that air defense right there so on this base you have 80s over at three o'clock and you have 80s over at 9. Going to send in the dragon straight to the core. As you can see, the funnel has been set, guys. Uh, and that king uh, made it pretty much from 3 all the way up to 12 o'clock. Here comes his six dragons coming in right into the core. Under rage, they're going to pretty much one-shot uh, that enemy archer queen. And as they start making their way through the core, goes ahead and drops his CC Lava Hound. Uh, Max Hound coming out of the CC does have a haste for those two groups of loons. Uh, so really, really good job uh, identifying this base. Like I said, this was a fresh hit and not a base layout that you see every day. And with that, we saw an attack that you do not see every day. So huge shout out uh, to Masam. Even having a troll Tesla over there in the 9 o'clock corner. Very, very nicely done picking that base apart. Really, really enjoyed that attack uh, once I saw it. Okay, now, so we saw the Town Hall 9 hit. Always, you know, guys, we got to show our Town Hall 9 some love. Uh, never going to stop doing that. This right here was the other fresh hit. We have a fresh 10v10, guys. Uh, going to be... This attack is from Balloon Drop Yayo, a.k.a. Venerator, doing it with hogs. So very, very ballsy. Going to be doing not only a fresh hit, but doing it with hogs is, again, not something that you see every day. Uh, so very, very nice. And usually you see on fresh hits, you see something like drag attacks, like I've done in the past, or you'll see like a bitch attack. Those can often be done on fresh bases. Uh, but not hogs, but he broke this base down very, very well. And in a hurry, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like this was a close call winding down to the last couple seconds, uh, as you guys are going to see. So it has a golem on the right, golem on the left, actually misses his jump spell a little bit, uh, just by a tile, so almost swagging a jump, but with that funnel that that baby dragon set, uh, they're going to beat through that wall no problem. He is going to have that jump to lead everything into the core, though. Uh, squishy uh, enemy C, enemy CC coming out. Uh, did have a poison for it. 
and sent in the queen again, not knowing the CC, uh, still went ahead and sent in that queen, even if uh, uh, something like a lava hound was going to come out. Starting his hogs nice and early while the defenses in the core are being tanked uh, by his kill squad. So he's got his first heal spell down, as there is quite a bit of point D and splash right there. Goes ahead and drops a very, very nice freeze. And notice he brought loons to this attack as well, where you have hogs and loons kind of meeting up there. Uh, up at the top, just an insane attack. Those balloons uh, just in time grab that AD. So they're still doing work. And uh, he is all out of spells. But as you guys can see, look what's left on the base. And that baby dragon that he started this raid with is literally going to wrap around this entire base. Uh, very, very nicely done. Literally smash that base and doing it fresh. Uh, huge shout out to Balloon Drop Yayo. Uh, getting a fresh 10v, a 10v10 regardless. Uh, you're getting shout outs, but doing it fresh. Absolutely insane. Very, very nicely done, uh, on that attack. All right. Now, the spotlight, the highlight, uh, member or player of this war has got to be Scarface, guys. Uh, you guys have been seeing him. If you've watched some of the other recent videos, he has been smashing bases lately, doing a hell of a job for the clan. But in this war, he 10v10 six-pack. So we've seen a fresh 10v10 triple. Now we got Scarface doing it, uh, getting a six-pack. So I will show you guys both of his attacks as well. Also going to be doing this raid from the sky. Um... Uh, using a Lalo. So he is starting with the kill squad doing a CB entry over here at about three o'clock, sending in uh, both of his heroes another squishy CC. We have a baby drag, which I believe there was a Valk or two uh, that came out of that CC as well. And just going to get insane value from this kill squad uh, as his queen is just trying to chew through those skeletons uh, from that witch right there. So with the ability pop, she still gets tied up. Could not quite get that Inferno Tower down, uh, but he does go ahead and send about five loons to it to make sure he takes that out. Notice the nice delay on the haste. Nice patience, not dropping that haste uh, too early to get optimal, optimum value uh, to get those loons inside this core. And notice he didn't, he did not bring a rage for the loon portion. That was the mistake that I made. Uh, when I hit this base, he dropped a rage, brought two more haste to constantly keep these loons pushing through the base. Has a nice freeze spell uh, that he dropped on, uh, that back end IT and grabbing, uh, that archer tower as well. And notice he still has his, uh, one of his hounds is still up, guys. So just got incredible value. Uh, and that expo is locked onto it. Those balloons are going to go ahead and drop a few bombs on that expo. And nothing but a cannon left. And it's just cleanup from this point. Uh, does still have a few loons to help with that cleanup. Has all kinds of pups. Brought a couple minions along as well. So very, very nicely done. Uh, to Scarface, that was one of his uh, three stars this war. We will go ahead and take a look at the other one. If I'm not mistaken, okay, no, that was a dip. That was a dip. These other hits were actually on some of the heavier. Uh, that was a dip. That was a dip. That was a dip as well. I believe, yeah, it was these heavier ones right here. 12 and 18. Okay, so I'll show you guys Scarface's first. We saw his first attack. Let's go ahead and watch his second. Also, he is falling in love, it seems like. With the CB Lalo, has to be one of my favorite attacks at Town Hall 10. The CB Lalo, uh, also a unique base layout that requires a unique attack. If you check out the back end of this base, look at all these wizard towers. He's got all four wizard towers and has four point defenses, uh, those being the archer towers, all on the back end. Watch how Scarface breaks this down, guys. Okay, so here comes the golem. Uh, drops the golem down, drops down the queen, so she's going to kind of meet up. Uh, King and queen are going to meet up in this compartment down here uh, at the very bottom at 6 o'clock, bringing a few Valkyries also to help with this kill squad. Uh, very, very similar uh, 
troop composition to the first attack uh, that we saw coming from Scarface. Goes ahead and drops down a poison to catch that dragon and those three uh, loons that came out of the CC as well. Did have a rage for that kill squad as they're pushing through this core. Queen is still up and has uh, the ability still to use. So he's going to get incredible value uh, once he pops uh, her ability. So right there goes ahead and grabs that AD. So that's two air defenses down, two to go. And notice, guys, right here, he does not, as he's uh, doing the flight portion, notice he didn't even drop a Lava Hound uh, to, to start tanking some of this splash and some of this point defense. Just goes very, very heavy on the loons. Distracting a wizard tower while sending other loons to it while the first wizard tower is distracted and just dropping a heal and a couple haste. Now here comes the lava hounds. Uh, there goes a Tesla farm. This was not a, a fresh hit. So he did know what was in the CC and where the Teslas were and things like that has a nice haste over those uh, Teslas and that Tesla farm up there. Has a nice rage covering the expo, the air sweeper so to take that pesky air sweeper out. Also, those balloons are still in the rage as they collapse in the inferno tower. The expos are on ground, also finding a huge weakness uh, to this base, that being those expos, and just completely pick that base apart. I really like, I really like how he didn't uh, be impatient with those hounds. Yeah, someone like me, a moron, would probably drop the hounds, then start sending them the loons, even though the 80s are on the opposite side of the base. Scarface is not a moron. He just sent in the loons, distracted them, sent in more, and just went heavy on the spells, and then used the hounds for where all the point defenses were and the air defenses. Again, very, very nicely done to him. And here comes Tadpole. I mean, these guys are just completely wrecking it lately. Uh, our, our hit rates keep getting worse while theirs continue uh, to get better. Uh, I mean, it's really, really hard keeping up with these guys. Uh, they are just breaking down these bases, finding weaknesses, guys. Uh, right here, look at the value from these bowler bounces. Uh, again, finding that weakness, getting, the, getting those ADs down. Same thing down here. Uh, there was also an elixir storage, and the bowler bounce was in range of that AD. He's going to go ahead and uh, sui both of his heroes in. Did not bring a golem to this raid. Uh, just using his heroes, he's going to pick up all kinds of defenses and under ability, guys. He is, in fact, as you're about to see, Tadpole is going to go ahead and grab that Inferno Tower. So this base is severely crippled, already having two air defenses down for the cost of a pair of bowlers. And an entire section of this base wiped out just by uh, heroes and a few wall breakers, guys. All right, here comes the flight portion. Uh, bring in a couple haste and bring a rage pushing all those loons along uh, Using those spells to make sure those hounds get do not get too far in front of those loons But look at how many balloons guys that he has look at that heal spell look at the coverage of that heal spell covering a wizard tower an expo and covering uh, that archer tower as well. Look at those hounds just tanking beautifully over the fourth and final AD. Even the pups doing a little bit of tanking for that air defense as we see that huge water of loons. Even if that AD, even if there weren't any pups right there, he has so many loons, guys. No doubt what was going to happen there. Uh, so very, very nicely. Then goes ahead and drops a haste uh, right there in the core. Loons end up taking out the enemy queen and completely smash that base. Even though he missed his scaly spell, still completely smash that base. Had way too many loons uh, for that base to handle. So that was our four 10v10s from this war, guys. Taken out. Uh, one Hive Invicta uh, with a disadvantage, us having a disadvantage, a two Town Hall 11 disadvantage, where uh, one Hive Invicta struggled was the 10v11s. Uh, we ended up clearing all of their 11s with our Town Hall 10s, uh, doubling all of them. So huge shout out to our 10v11 guys. Uh, you guys are constantly setting us up beautifully uh, for the 10v10 opportunities. In this war, we picked up four. Uh, and a huge shout out to One Hive Invicta. Nothing but respect for those guys. It was a lot of fun warring you. And I hope you guys enjoyed the attacks featured. Again, 
unique attacks for some very unique bases. Hopefully we're all learning um, from this together. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.